This is the teaching. The Kabbalah. The QBL. Kabbalah. The holy teaching. I'm giving you the revealed teaching as it has been revealed to me. And I wish to share my understanding. I want you to understand, to think for yourself and to understand. I don't want to trap you. This is not a snare. Now there is also the Kabbalah with a K in an organization. Now unfortunately that is a snare and that issue is the function of this video to show you the teaching which is integrated in all my other videos so I present the integrated teaching with the different understandings but I'm now coming to the Kabbalah itself, the teaching. Now, I haven't given them the traditional Kabbalistic names. I will refer to them as such, if I remember. And you must forgive my mispronunciation pronunciation of the names of the paths. I presented all the paths in Entoptic Hopstock. Hopscotch, the steps of entoptic hopscotch are the paths, but all of them. So that is the whole structure of meaning, and that is also the whole structure of the functions in the artificial intelligence control system. So this is it, this is what's important to have a functioning mind and a functioning understanding in of ourselves. Now, as I say, this is about the problem with the Kabbalah, the K-A-B-B-A-L-A, you know, which everybody pays fees to and joins. Now, the, the, as I say, the problem is they have two paths going from Tifereth to Hod and Tifereth to Netzach. And obviously, on this tree that I use, we don't. Now I accidentally discovered this tree in an Essene drawing and through the guidance of my guru in spirit I was shown that the, the Yi, the I Ching fits in with this tree not the other tree. I found out that in the Kabbalah in the ancient teachings of the Kabbalah the QBL. There was a holy book, the Book of Toth, the Book of Truth, that was lost, which was the key. And I've shown that that Book of Toth is the Yi, you know, the I Ching. I've shown how they fit together in my other videos and the consequent understanding for our nature and for the nature and structure of our minds and reality. But say now we're into this problem with the false tree and understanding the nature of it because it has these other paths it doesn't have these paths but it has those paths so it's, it looks very similar but it's not you, you can understand that this is an organic structure see there's the four and then it boom 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 down to the uh, the three worlds or the four worlds so that they concatenate the, the, the three triangles. Which is the basic understanding of our minds and nature, the three divisions, the quantum mechanics or the video, the relativity or the audio, and the pressure or gravity. contact senses, distance senses, and then our focus of attention. You know, so our minds are integrated into the whole structure of mind as man 
as Adam Kadmon within ourselves and this is the understanding to understand so that the mystery of the universe the secret thy secret is that everything is within as Adam Kadmon as man as mind and so the spirit is free now when the, the paths are like this the spirit can't get free because the paths have been corrupted so the energy flow the walking of the paths the exercise traps and then they create a false doctrine of the Ruach the Ruach which is this structure here with these paths with a connection from the higher self the soul of self to the feelings to pressure or from the higher self to objects you know, fixed pressure maps so by believing in the Ruach you know, the, the, you then build up that energy center, you know, as the, the magician, you know, a deluded magician centered on here, which is the ego, the baby, as I've explained in other videos in terms of the origins of our mind in developmental psychology. Because this is what this is about, it's about the structure of our minds, the Sabhava Dhamma, the nature as it is. Not some ritual structure, not some man-made structure which is what happens when you get these put these paths in in the rock <coughs> <coughs> see the paths create this ruach this structure which is false but it becomes you know an engram a complex you know a sanskara you know a trap a trap for your energy to be trapped in and controlled by others in the organization so I just want to go through the paths just the 22 paths <coughs> which are the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet <coughs> <coughs> which is how the Kabbalah <coughs> is recorded presently So the first path, Aleph, is called the scintillating intelligence, which is, you know, as I say, my control system is the stimulus, you know, the initiative, taking the initiative is that excitement, is the scintillating intelligence. And as the Yi, this is difficult in the beginning, but this is just the one path of movement, and back to rest move back to rest the scintillating intelligence Aleph and then you've got uh, Beth the second meaning house so Aleph, Aleph means ox Strength, isn't it? Strength of movement, power, endurance, survival. An example to follow that we follow the herd, the ox. The second one is the house. You know, to say the mother to the mother, spirit to the mother, the point to the face, the surface. That's a bust. You see head and shoulders. That's the house, right? This is the meaning of it. And then Gimel, the camel, is the, oh no, sorry, you've got the central one here, Gimel, the camel, which is the uniting intelligence, uniting intelligence, the self to the spirit, or the ego, the baby to the spirit, the feeling of union in self with the spirit. loss of the self-centered the two obstacles 
of covetousness and looking down on others that stops merging with the beloved not being aware of the spirit not surrendering to love so by inventing the ruach it traps that spirit from surrendering and then the energy can be controlled you can be controlled by others in the organization and by your own delusions this sense that there's a, you know an individual self with these powers and control over objects and feelings Then we come on to Osir oh, Atma. Then oh yeah, Dallas is this is the door. This is about seeing a, a, a visual field and whether it's an open or closed area. So whether the door of the area is open or closed, whether the area is open or closed. So we define objects with this. So I call the door. And then we have hey the window which is seeing the movement, which is like seeing out of, you know, the eyes, like then the window. And then, um, here, back to this one, uh, we have the triumphal, the, ty the royal road, this is modesty, the, you know, in the ye, the nail, you know, or as you say, nailing it, you know, completing the task, the royal road, the triumphal, and then the gate of rulership, and then we go to this one, being at a tifereth the disposition which is the, the baby to the mother the disposition of the child the disposition of the face that we see or that we see in a child the disposition and then being at a Gavura, the influence you know, the mother over the character over time over the routine the discipline House of influence, and then here we go, right? Asset de Gavura, right? Here we are. Secret activities. This is actually just the timing. How to get the right get time is, you know, is secret, isn't it? You try to explain to somebody how oh, he's do it at the right time. <laughs> secret activities. And then I said to Tifereth, the true will, the true will, you know, because this is home, like the home sign, this is home, the baby going home, the will to return home, the true will. And then, he said to Yesod, now I say the path's there, right? And it's called conciliation, conciliation, right? Conciliation. Oh, and it, oh it's the spoon. Like, the, sorry. He said to Tifereth, <coughs> is the hand <coughs> <coughs> so the hand the mudra shows the true will the hand the true will now, having that hand in it caught red handed that shows the action of the will doesn't the movement of the hand then we have conciliation which is the spoon 
you know, like spooning, which is recon being reconciled, um, as a, a symbol of, uh, you know, union there, blood, which is again, eight is the fire, you know, the sexual energy. But if you don't have that path there, you see, the spoon, a calf, goes on to um, Esed to Netzach, which is the home to the feelings. And then, you go on to Lamed, the whip. Now there, Esed to Netzach, is the whip, whip, but if that was there, that then comes on to Gevora to Tifereth, the whip, the faithful. When it's corrected, Gavura to Tifereth becomes Mem, which is water, which is stability. So in the character, the strength of character of, of routine, of discipline from the mother, creates stability, you know, sense of stability. And Gavura to Yesod is the fish, none, the fish, the imagination, which, which is the moon, full moon and new moon, the moon, lunar cycle. Gavura to Hod is the prop, the prop, the prop, as it what like a mine in building a structure, you know. So By moving these paths, we alter the whole functioning structure. And it's possibility of understanding it, because it's only through pure understanding that we can be free. You know, while we're repeating incantations and structures and we don't understand it, we can never be free. We can never be free. See, if you look at a book of black magic spells or something, you'll see that it's composed of Kabbalistic terms that are all jumbled up. That's how they trap you, to tell you the truth. But it's all jumbled up, so you can't understand it for yourself and be free. Be trapped inside the organisation, inside the corporate thinking inside the corpus you're trapped by some dominant controlling influence and you've lost your autonomy and your responsibilities for your actions you know you're no longer a free individual you're no longer responsible for your action you're only doing what you're told you do not understand you know you don't understand you know like the inhumanity of your, your corporate structure so it's a question of returning to the correct structure, which I've detailed in Entoptic Hopscotch. And the steps of Entoptic Hopscotch are the original true meanings of all the paths, as far as ordinary consciousness and ordinary experience goes, of course. And this is the structure and the steps of Entoptic Hopscotch 
as the basis for the development of true rituals not some mumbo jumbo that you don't understand so you you then free with the elements by going back to my other videos with the entoptics to understand it's the entoptics which are patterns we see in our minds which project a, an image a structure which we then imagined images on that structure which is a projection of the entoptics the entoptics you know the sephira is freeing all their powers within the man within the mind within the structure of mind your mind is a whole naturally evolving opening structure not involving in the sense of you know change changing a structure of the ten dimensions and its divine nature its transcendental nature the sabhava dhamma is to set the spirit free to understand silent knowledge pure understanding think for yourself think for yourself go back to my entoptic obscotch and study the different paths so you arrive at the proper understanding of this structure and so free yourselves from the delusion of the Ruach which does not exist